Good morning. Jacob is with his childminder today and Mark is off. So we are going to brave this horrible, horrendous weather and go down to Aldi and do an Aldi shop. I normally get a Tesco delivery once a week um, because we don't take Jacob shopping. It's too much for him. The noises, the lights, the people, the atmosphere. So I'd rather not. He's around, going around the shops in his pram or in a trolley still and you got your defenders on and it's not fair. He doesn't like it so why, why take him when I can get a shop delivered every week. Um, so we're going to venture out in this beautiful Welsh weather and show you what we will buy for a family of four for a week. And then I'm going to do a uh, meal plan then at the end and show you our food compared to what Jacob eats and what then he will snack on because he's a huge, huge snacker. I don't know what's going on with this bit of hair. <laughs> but yeah, so we thought we would bring you along and show you. Sauce as well. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Family pots, bacon rashers. Yeah, and those. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Pizzas as well. Pizza nuts. Yeah, they've changed packaging. Yeah, one of each. Back in the car now after a uh, shopping Aldi. Spent a bit more than we were planning, but fridge, freezer, and cupboards should all be full. Right, we're back from Aldi. We braved the weather. So I got everything out ready to show you and compare what we have and then what Jacob will eat. Um, I've got a cup of tea ready as well, which is warming me up a treat. Um, so the one day we're going to have a stew in this weather, we're all craving a lovely stew. So obviously potatoes, carrots, the onion and the diced beef. Um, Jacob will eat this, so he will have the chicken dippers with probably some chips and some peas or maybe do some roasties or something for him. He doesn't do no sauces, no nothing, so... We are quite limited. Um, probably not the day after, but like in two days after the stew, we're going to have a sausage and mash dinner with veg and gravy again. I will half this bag of potatoes, just a big one, and I'll half the stew and half the sausage and mash. Again, Jacob will not eat the mash, so he will have possibly croquettes or um, some chips or maybe even these from Tesco crispy potato pops hearty food company and he absolutely loves those they've always got a bag or two in the freezer 
just in case. We will have then a spaghetti bolognese one day, the mince, the sauce, and obviously the pizza bread. Um, pasta's in the cupboard, I didn't need no pasta. So when we have that, Jacob will have his favourite. Noodles, soy sauce, and some peas. You could live off this meal. This is absolute fave. Um, so he will have that when we have a spaghetti bolognese. Um, not sure what day is yet, but that's sorted. Um, the next, well probably not the next day, but we're gonna have a sweet chili chicken salad with potatoes. Obviously Jacob's not gonna eat this, so he'll probably go for nuggets again and possibly some waffles and some veg. Um, yeah, I think that's, yeah, I'm quite happy with that at the minute. Um, normally on a Friday night, we have a pizza night. Um, I did put two of these in the trolley, this one and the cheese one. But we've lost the cheese one en route. I don't know where it's gone. I mean, you go into Aldi and come out pizza-less. So I've looked in the car and it's not in there, so I think it's fallen out the trolley somewhere. So it's a good job we picked up one of these because I bloody love them. So we have those. Me and Mark and James will eat this with poss possibly a bowl of wedges or something that's already in the freezer. And Jacob will more than likely have possibly fish fingers this day. I like to make sure he has at least like one lot of fish a week. Um, so we'll have fish, fish fingers, a potato substance and some peas. Um, the next day we'll have a fry up. I think he'll eat most of this, obviously he'll eat the sausages, he'll possibly, and we'll try him with some bacon, and he'll have the waffles, he will not have peas or the eggs, so, uh, peas, beans rather, um, so I'll do him, so he can have the sausages, I'll try him with a bit of bacon, he'll have the waffles, and I'll do him some peas. Um, yeah, so, he'll eat some of this. He'll have the sausages with us, and I think that's about it. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six meals now to last us, what are we? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. To last us till at least Tuesday next week, he will only eat two of the meals that we eat, which is an ideal, but like I said, he is so fussy sticks to what he knows he doesn't like sauces so yeah it can be difficult as i'm cooking say all this for us and then we've got to put the oven on then just for him to do that um this meal isn't too bad because it's all on the hob well apart from this i suppose um it's all on the hob apart from the garlic bread um yeah so it can be a bit awkward, but he's eating and that's all that matters. Right, now on to the snacks that he likes. Um, he loves these brioche rolls. I put these in a haul recently that I had in b I think it was. Um, so I just cut these in half with a bit of butter or a bit of Nutella. So he will have one for maybe breakfast and then have milk brioche roll in for snack they draw with some fruit um yeah he does he does enjoy these he had two of these this morning and demolished them so that's a good start and um, obviously a lot of fruit apples are his absolute favorite some bananas some grapes then obviously i cut them into four and um, some strawberries we have also breakfast as a snack and throughout the day just anything um, and then obviously a bag of crisps bacon rashers is absolute favorite so we love a pack a day with maybe 
Oh, some fruit on the side again, um, or like a biscuit or something. It doesn't do yogurts or nothing like that. Um, so we'll have a pack of crisps with some biscuits on the side and maybe a bowl of grapes or something. Uh, rice cakes then. He loves these again. Um, he doesn't eat them with anything on. He'll just eat about two or three a day, just plain. But I mean, there's enough flavour on those. So he doesn't need anything on there. Me, however, I spread some of this on the top and then I add some cucumber and tomato and they are delicious. They are really nice. And then just, you could possibly have a sausage roll one day. Um, I don't warm it up or anything, it just has it like this. And a bag of crisps. And, and an apple maybe and then that's a nice little lunch for him as well as a snack and it filling him up and there's my hob going off and he loves these as well he's always had a thing for these they are nice with a bit of fruit on the side and maybe a bag of crisps as like a little lunch or a little snack um yeah he has these in his lunch box as well he really likes those and i think that's it Obviously, if he sees any of this stuff, especially the crisps, the cake bars, the brioche, if he sees that in the cupboards, then, and he knows this day, he will not, he won't be happy unless it's all gone. So, the crisps stay in my wardrobe upstairs, the cake bars stay in my wardrobe, the brioche, I could possibly get away with the brioche staying downstairs. But I also got a bag in my wardrobe full of just like the bits I've had in recent hauls and um, party rings, fish and chips, you know, things like that that stay upstairs out of his way so he doesn't really realise that they're there, otherwise they will be gone. Um yeah, so this is like I said, we don't normally do an Aldi shop. We did spend a bit more than we were planning on, but we know now cupboards are full, fridge is full, freezer. Jacob is happy now with all of his snacks, so we should be laughing for a good while. Oh, and pancakes. And pancakes, eight pancakes in there. So, some pancakes in the morning, a little bit of Nutella and some fruit on the side, a lovely little breakfast. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. We said we quite happily do one Aldi shop every month just to make sure that the cupboards are full, we've always got something there. Um, and then just stick to our Tesco shops then through the week and just do an Aldi then when Mark is off. And just to get him some of his favourites there. You can't normally get in other shops. So yeah, obviously James will eat most of this stuff as well. So that's a good thing. So I'm not just buying for Jacob, I'm buying for the two of them. I mean, I would probably eat all of this as well, Mark would. So I mean, yeah, so the snacking bits are for all of us really, but mainly for Jacob. Um, yeah. So I hope you like this video of seeing the difference in food that we all eat and for Jacob sorts of eats in a day really I suppose. Um, obviously chicken nugget, sausage, fish fingers, chips, peas, he will eat peas with absolutely everything, um, croquettes, those crispy pop things I showed you from Tesco um, yeah proper kiddie food I call it yeah so but I hope you liked this video if you did give us a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one I'm gonna go now and finish my cup of tea and we did buy a little treat how yummy does that look? All for me.